The mighty wheat silos on Havana Street in Bathurst once fed a flour mill that produced two and a quarter tonnes of plain flour per hour and 600 dozen one kilogram packets of self-raising flour per day. An existing mill on this site was bought by William Tremaine in 1874 and became a flourishing family business. When a fire gutted the building in 1901, it was rebuilt and ready for action again within five months. I'm a resident and I live opposite Bedwells and the Tremaine's flour mill. And you know, it's an important part of the landscape here and it's a beautiful part of the landscape and I don't want to see it gone. Nearby residents like Helen Bergen are concerned that if or when the privately owned site is sold, the silos and mill buildings may be demolished to make way for new apartments. She fears the current local heritage listing may not be enough to save the whole site. The heritage everywhere is important because a lot of a lot what's going on in country areas are being pulled down and we have a very young uh, history of buildings uh, like this and it's very unique. It was built in 1901 and I happened to live in the house uh, that was built by the Tremaines who owned the mill uh, and this house was also built in 1901 and, it's, and these sorts of buildings are so important to Bathurst being the oldest inland settlement uh, west of the Blue Mountains. Today the site is inhabited by a diverse group of tenants including country bumpkin antiques and furniture restoration, an ecologist, local musicians and artists. Got chooks? Yep, got chooks. The main user of the site is Bedwell's Feed Barn. The business rents the site from the current owner. While the chooks are a well-known feature, core business is actually the storage, packaging and sale of grains for stock feed. Inside Bedwell's, the artistry and ingenuity of a time gone by can be clearly seen. The pillars are made of good strong local trees. The wooden floors gave traction for horses delivering grain. But it's not just about history. The site is still functional, being used for many of the same purposes as it was a hundred years ago. This is where we, like the oats, the corn, barley, all that sort of things that we use in the factory, this is where it all goes, down here. And then it comes out here and gets picked up. The grains get transported around the building and up into separate silos using the same belts and pulleys and chutes that were used a hundred years ago. Do you think the way they would have built them back in the hand days, like everything was done, would have been done by hand back in yeah. 120 years ago? Yeah. All this timber? Have a look, this might just have to go. Come up here. That has to be 50 metres or better. Yeah. This is the top of the building where all the top of the silos. Yeah. Going down into the silos. Bedwell still uses 38 of the old silos to store different types of grain. Under a century of dust, you can see the Oregon timber that was used in construction. Bedwell still has got chooks, as well as a working factory. But whether the historic site survives may come down to the determination of local residents. The Save Our Silos campaign is just beginning. <laughs>